Hi Aquarius, welcome to your mid-month reading for April. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These are general messages, so they may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to check your other placements to see what else is going on. We have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Someone might be holding on to a connection in kind of a codependent way, like not putting themselves first. We have flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. We have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I'm seeing that like straight up you're needing to let go of someone and start flirting with new people because if this person is not treating you right, you might be holding on, you know, in a codependent way, like not putting yourself first. So while your expectations, like you may have expected expected this person to be the one it could be someone else who is for you who is better for you but there's you know someone's having a hard time letting go we have chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here so maybe you're still really attracted to the person but there's a need to like love yourself and move on from someone who is toxic that's what the codependency is about all right, so let me see what we have here. Messages for Aquarius. We have Harmony. This is lover's energy, so it could be a Gemini. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. We have Heart. Heartache and loss, and we have sacrifice. So there you go. Some of you are needing to like let go and sacrifice so that you can move forward and have a more harmonious relationship with someone, someone new, someone who's more suited for you. That's all I'm seeing, like clearly. Okay, hold on. Rest and rejuvenate and firm foundation. So there's a it's a time for healing like releasing the past and healing so that you are ready for the relationship that was meant for you the one that's more harmonious and pain free but right now there's a three of swords energy the heartache and loss so some of you are feeling heartbroken in a situation but unable to let go What can Aquarius expect in love during mid-April? What can Aquarius expect in love mid-April? person might not be paying you any mind the person you have in mind because you're seeing them as an eight of pentacles there's a lot of defensive energy going on i'm seeing that you're wanting to stay positive about the situation but you're seeing that they're kind of busy with work focusing on other things this person also is confused about how they feel towards you because they have the two of swords as their feelings. It's like they want a new start, but they're kind of going back and forth in their mind and they're viewing you as the moon, which means they don't really know what's going on with you or probably don't understand you at the moment or just haven't heard from you. But we have the king of swords as the energy between you guys. 
so for a lot of you there may be separation with this king of swords it's kind of a detached energy could be dealing with a leo we have strong leo energy here but when i look at the seven of wands and the page of swords there's a lot of defensive energy so some of you might find yourself it's kind of weird because it starts off with you kind of being codependent, needing to love yourself more, let go, release someone. And you kind of end up in the end pushing this person away. Like it's almost like you kind of realize what you deserve, realize your worth and start pushing them away because we have the page of swords. So it's like either that or some of you receive communication with them but it might be somewhat cold there's a lot of swords here so let me clarify since it's a little bit complicated two of swords uh, the world card comes up a lot because everyone's kind of thrown off by what's going on in the world so is that we have the king of wands could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius some of you are dealing with but they do seem like really kind of like affected by what's going on in the world it might be affecting their life it might be affecting their family this person is kind of mentally conflicted right now. It's like they can't even focus on emotions at the moment because they're thinking about like a, a bigger picture. Okay, the moon. Where's the moon here? Queen of Wands. Emperor, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Could be an Aries. There's a lot of fire energy. King and Queen of Wands, but we have the Emperor. They're kind of, okay, if some of you were upset with them, they're kind of still seeing you in this energy and it has them a little bit confused if you were upset with them and kind of showed it. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So they're, they're really... They're kind of confused about what's going on with you. It's like they don't know... It's like they're not reading you well. You know what I mean? They're not able to read your emotions or... You know, you're a complete mystery to them at the moment. Sun. Some of you are like really trying to turn a negative into a positive. Like if things are upside down, some of you are really trying to think positive about it or just look to the future. But I feel like eventually you're going to be not accepting the person's treatment like the way they treat you why the page of swords page of swords could be a could be a virgo but we have You see what I mean? Because the Wheel of Fortune is here, which means there's a sudden change because it's kind of weird. It kind of shifts to you being defensive in the end. So something kind of shifts. I, I feel like it's almost like a switch just goes off and you're just like not having it anymore. Well, this could have happened for some of you already, but it just seems like you are not having it anymore. And then... They are kind of confused by this behavior. Maybe it's not like you to kind of lash out or to reject them. Why the Knight of Swords? 
some of you may have already met the new person you know this one where it says flirt and keep an open mind some of you may have already had someone come someone new come into your life with this knight of cups kind of making this a third party situation because this person is showing up as well so some of you might be suddenly moving on suddenly moving on to someone new this could be what triggers you to kind of shift and push this person away it's kind of odd but why is this strength card here strength it could be a leo who comes in tower in reverse ten of wands that's just hold on why is the strength card here it could be a leo who comes in a leo could come in for some of you or a um aries or sagittarius there's a lot of fire here but someone comes in blocking this person from you because if there's a new love and you choose the new love over this person then obviously this would block them out but it probably is going to lead to them wanting to rebuild the situation knowing that they've lost you now it's very very back and forth and confusing to, to me anyways because i'm not in the situation but it looks very confusing could be dealing with an aries leo sagittarius with gemini Virgo, Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well, and especially Leo. So let's look at this person's feelings a little bit more. Their feelings during mid-April. How they feel? Okay. Ten of Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, this could have been a marriage situation. feelings towards Aquarius there's Sagittarius energy as well they might find themselves waiting for you the tables might kind of turn here because now we have the eight of pentacles they're going to start feeling like you've totally turned that turn your back on them the same way you're viewing them as not paying you any mind soon they're going to be viewing you as not paying them any mind so this could be that someone new comes into your life and you kind of turn away from them and they're wondering where did you go it's going to be in divine timing but all of a sudden they won't be rejecting you anymore all of a sudden they'll want this new beginning with this ace of swords it's like they'll be confused until they see someone new come in and all of a sudden they'll have it all figured out and want to be with you it's kind of I mean, but if that's only because you're with someone new, then how real is it? How are they viewing Aquarius? How are they viewing Aquarius? I feel like they just see you as moving on really quickly. They see you as moving on really quickly. They see you as being disappointed with the situation with them and just moving on to whatever makes you feel more stable something more serious more grounded so they see you as moving on quickly then all of a sudden they want to work on the relationship or they all of a sudden see it having a chance let me see what we have for aquarius messages for aquarius expect powerful change you see there's going to be a shift conclusions are within reach look at the bigger picture sagittarius energy there's strong fire energy and leo again don't let pride get in your way so leo is here i feel like this person is letting pride get in their way and then when you move on they'll suddenly suddenly pride won't be in the way you know all of a sudden they'll want to know what's going on how come you guys couldn't make it work and then you'll probably be shutting them out 
it's kind of weird the shift but that's what i'm seeing expect power to change why is this card here yeah all of a sudden there'll be action all of a sudden you're not being ignored anymore could be an aries so much fire signs coming out so much fire energy aries leo sagittarius but we have aries energy here all of a sudden like the powerful change i feel like it's going to come from you moving on and them being shocked that you have but you just might be pushing them away anyways because you may have found someone you may be look you may be meeting someone new who is just you know the situation is just harmonious and just you know effortless and kind of pushes you further towards loving yourself more getting rid of this codependency energy any kind of toxic energy so it's like you're choosing the best outcome for yourself let's see what else we have here all right messages for aquarius too many I don't overthink my current situation. I feel like this has to do with you moving on really quickly. It's just like, this person's treating me better. Good, I'm going for that. <laughs> All right. I learn the way on the way. So you're just kind of learning as you go. This reminds me of the full card that came out. Like you're just going for what feels right. Learning as you go along, learning to love. You can always still be learning to love. Everything isn't happening to me, everything is happening for me. So, I feel like something like it's like a new love that is effortless, kind of just falls into your lap and you just go with it. You don't overthink it, you just go with it. You know, you just flirt, you just go with the with whatever feels right. But <laughs> when it comes to the person from the past, it's going to create some conflict with them a little bit, kind of. But I don't feel like it will affect your relationship. We have issues or just old patterns I need to address. This reminds me of the codependency card that old pattern that keeps repeating itself with that person from the past where you're finally letting go and addressing it like addressing it and then addressing it and then being able to let go okay so basically this person they're confused and don't know what they want until they see you with someone new so if you do meet someone new or you have met them go for it because it does look more positive it does look more harm harmonious and it's it's gonna be what frees you if you do meet this new person it will free you from this toxic pattern with this person that you felt you couldn't leave you felt you couldn't get over them at one point but now you can not because you met someone new but because you just going with the flow being light-hearted and just surrendering to the universe basically which creates powerful change but conclusions are within reach it's like the ending to the bad situation has come in the time when you can finally reject this person from the past is coming it's gonna be a shift like if you're in the codependency energy right now you feel like you can't leave them it's going to shift out of nowhere you're gonna feel like it's whatever you know it could be that you meet someone new and then they show you a different love or you sh or they show you how you're supposed to be loved 
and you just go for it like it's like night and shine armor that rescues you from this toxic type of relationship from this per it doesn't have to be toxic but this person who just doesn't know what they want and kind of has you confused at times all right so Aquarius this is what I have for you from mid-April check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on or if this didn't quite resonate with you leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and thanks for watching